Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowery, naturopathic doctor, and please don't drink another drop of water until you see this. So today I'm talking about something that you may not have heard about before, and this is deuterium. And deuterium is known as a heavy, hydrogen so we know that water is h2o but if water and all water does contain deuterium if water is heavier then it is either called d2o or dho and this is something that in terms of that deuterium it means that it has hydrogen with an extra neutron so it's actually physically heavier than just hydrogen on its own and it has different chemical properties in the way that it works and this becomes very important for our overall physiology and our mitochondrial health. Now, most water contains about 150 parts per million of deuterium. So that is roughly in one liter of water, just six drops of deuterium in a liter of water. And that's the average for our planet. Now, seawater is about 155 parts per million. So it's a little bit, and that salt water is a little bit heavier in that deuterium. Whereas when you go to different parts of the globe, you can have less and less deuterium, which is known to be healthier. So water with a concentration of less than 140 parts per million is considered deuterium depleted and a lot of research is looking at now deuterium depletion and drinking deuterium depleted water in terms of health in terms of helping with things like cancer and of course our overall energy and for longevity as well so being probably one of the elixirs of life is deuterium depleted water a lot more research of course needs to go into this but absolutely very promising in the fact that whatever will help with maintaining proper mitochondrial function will definitely be in your best interest in terms of longevity as well. Now it's interesting that cold mountain water will definitely by its nature have less deuterium than water that is closer to the shorelines and also closer to the equator. So that is important where you're actually purchasing your water from will have a difference in the amount of deuterium in that water. Equatorial fruit so things like bananas that are grown close to the equator are actually higher in deuterium. So some foods and the more sweet the foods, so things like wheat, things like sugar tend to be much higher in deuterium as opposed to some healthy lower carbohydrate options in terms of the leaves of a plant. So our green leafies have less deuterium than the actual roots of the plant. So something to think about in terms of our diet as well. So the history of deuterium goes back to 1932 when Harold C. Urey and his colleagues Brick Ved and George Murphy at Columbia University proved that deuterium actually existed in the first place and they eventually settled on the name deuterium from the ancient Greek deuteros meaning second so the second hydrogen now in 1934 dr yuri won the nobel prize in chemistry they found that deuterium and that heavy concentration of deuterium in heavy water was the missing piece needed for nuclear reactors and the making of atomic bombs so this is a big part of our history a lot of people didn't know that water naturally contains deuterium and avoiding too heavy of a water in terms of your drinking water is very important for your overall health. Because deuterium is coupled with DNA mutation, this can have negative impacts we know in terms of cancer production and what's going on with our cellular health. And it also damages those mitochondrial cells, which I had mentioned earlier and can affect, and we know that the mitochondria talks to our nuclear DNA and the nucleus of the cell, and that has an impact on how well we do in terms of preventing diseases as well. Now, the presence of deuterium in enzymes also can slow down our DNA replication, can cause errors in transcription, and can also slow down and hinder DNA repair. So we know again, from the health standpoint and the biological standpoint, it's really important to control and make mitigate our deuterium levels. We also know that tighter deuterium hydrogen bonding will stiffen the proteins and it requires more energy to 
break these metabolic reactions in terms of that bonding that happens. So deuterium is, is not our friend uh, if it's in too high amounts. And it, again, it will decrease that proper functioning of that ATP ACE motor in our mitochondria, meaning making less ATP, so making less energy. So this could be one of the causative factors as to why people are lacking in energy, especially as they're aging because you lose your mitochondrial health and numbers as you're, as you're aging. When you're young, you've got a great, vast amount of mitochondria that are well-functioning. As we age, they deplete and decline, and hence the aging process. So this is really interesting to me, studying longevity, that you know, looking at deuterium in our water is an important aspect of our overall health and longevity. So I hope you learned something new, and remember the next time that you're drinking water, not to drink that water without first thinking about some of these things as related to deuterium. So if you do have questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please do drop that in the comment section below. Also share this video. I appreciate a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome into my channel. I hope that you'll subscribe and also click that bell to turn on your notifications so that you are always aware of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.